Well, good morning everyone. Uh, welcome to part two, day two of us fishing in Dorset for the week. Um, yesterday we hit Abbotsbury, Chesil Beach. Today we're off to Chesil Beach as well, but we are going to West Bexington. Um, I've actually heard some pretty good things about West Bexington as well. Um, not gonna lie, a little bit delicate today. Uh, we thought we'd go to the clubhouse and have one or two drinks, which we did. Oh, we then ended up going into town. We went into Bridport, cut the pubs. We ended up in some club. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but you know what? We're on holiday, aren't we? Anyway, we're not going to let it ruin the fishing. So we're up. Me and G are up. We've we've had breakfast. Um, I think it's, it's half past nine. So it's, we haven't like lost the day. It's only half nine. We're literally about to leave. We're going to go tackle shop, get some more fresh bait. Uh, we're going to go shop, get a couple of drinks, and then we're going to get down to West Bexington. Only me and G today. Jordan is currently in bed. Knocked on the door, fishing, fishing. He's having none of it. Um, yeah, he's not feeling the greatest. So it's just me and G going today. So yeah, we will see you when we uh, when we get to West Bexington. Oh, well, we are here, West Bexington. Um, packed all the way along, absolutely packed. We're in the car park that's up there. Nowhere near as long as walk as yesterday when we went to Dragon's Teeth. It's still a fair walk to get here. Absolutely packed. Good to see though, loads of families, family day outs. And there's like dads with their sons, there's kids there like 14, 15. Future generation of fishermen right there learning to fish. It's all good. Right, this one here, uh, pulley panel, we've got a whole squid on there. Left hand side, two hook flapper, ragworm. Um, I did get some fresh rag this morning and fresh squid. I had a bit of ragworm left over from yesterday, put it in the fridge and it's come out absolutely fine. It's still in there wriggling around, it's still got life, it's still solid. So I'm going to use that up before I use the new one. Right, let's get these out. Let's get these in. Right, that's it, we're out there, we're fishing. I'm only there, G G's only set up there, we're only there. And like I say, no Jordan today, Jordan decided to stay in the van. Like I say, we did have a few drinks last night. But we are on holiday, so it's like a combination of our like fishing holiday and actually being on holiday. So we're trying to obviously fish and we're trying to enjoy ourselves. So we went to the clubhouse again last night. We went there on Monday and I won a certificate for blankety blank. And like that, I won something last night as well. I played some hula hoop game or something. I don't remember, in all fairness. <laughs> But I'm just hoping I'll do a bit better than I did. If you watched yesterday's video, we was at Abbotsbury on Chessel. Uh, G pulled out a massive spoon van. He pulled out a Gernard. Jordan pulled out two spoon vans. I blanked all day, totally blanked all day. So I'm hoping today is not a repeat of yesterday. I need to get something out. Uh, I think tomorrow, I think we're gonna go Weymouth Stone Pier and fish tomorrow. I know when we used to fish it years ago, Used to get uh, mackerel out of there, garfish, wrasse. So I think the plan tomorrow is, uh, yeah, go to the pier and do a bit of float fishing off there. Right, everything, I'm just gonna have a bit of a drink. I wanna do exactly what G's doing, sit down, keep an eye on these rods and keep your fingers crossed. I can't even cross them. <laughs> keep your fingers crossed that I'll get something out today. Well, just coming up to 11 o'clock, so we've been here an hour. We've had a couple of casts out, 
bait's just coming back untouched, absolutely untouched. I'm looking at the guys fishing to the left, then no one's pulling anything out. Uh, the lads are out there that with, they're guessing their sons, they're, they've all got feathers out there. It's a couple to the right, a couple to the left, they've just got the feathers on the go. But I haven't seen them pull any mackerel out or anything. And everyone with the beach casters, I haven't seen them pull anything out. Oh man, I have to catch. I have to come all the way down to Dorset, do a week's fishing, hit the big beaches. <sighs> and I'm not catching anything. What is going on? What is going on? Nice day though, I've got my cap on again, now that sun is out. I say if I don't wear a cap, I just I literally go bright red if I don't wear like a cap or anything. So cap is on today. We've done the parking, I think we've only done four hours parking, so we're only here to about three o'clock anyway. I say it's eleven now. I think what time is the parking till, G? Huh? What time is the parking till? Oh twenty to three. Yes, we've only got three hours, just over three hours anyway. Tides on the way in, I think high tide is about one ish today, half one, I remember right. So we'll definitely be here for like when the tide comes in, hit the high tide, and we'll be here just as it's like on the turn going out. Oh, come on, Chessel, just give me a fish. Right, it's quarter to one, we've just reached high tide. Still a nothing. I've reeled in a couple of times now, put a fresh bait on, I've got a fresh squid on there, I've got a fresh ragworm on there. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Be keeping my eyes on the guys fishing to the left of me. They pulled out absolutely nothing. Oh man. So yeah, I'm just hoping, hopefully, what's that on there? Bloody hell, flies on this beach. Yeah, I'm just hoping, hopefully. Well, once we've hit this high tide and the tide starts going out, hopefully we start getting a few fish in as the, as the tide's going out. I mean, that's the only thing we can hope for, really. And I'm hoping, like we're saying, if I don't catch nothing today, we're fishing Weymouth Stone Pier tomorrow. If I don't catch anything tomorrow, then that is it. My whole week's fishing trip to Dorset, every single little day out, would have been a blank. Every single day blank and I'll say to you, do you know what we'll get back home we'll get back to Yarmouth I'll go to Yarmouth Beach Tuesday and probably be putting out smooth hounds and dogfish and god knows what oh, I just want to catch a I just want to catch a dulcet fish <coughs> come on well it's just coming up to quarter past one so we got an hour left until we've got to start packing down and getting back up there still absolutely nothing the rods are just still right Nothing, no movement at all. No one along here is catching a single thing. Just fortunately, it's not a lot of horrible day. Luckily, it's like a nice day and the sun's out, so it's nice just literally lying on the beach, soaking up the rays, because if, if we was here putting up wind and rain to go through all that and not catch anything, it makes it even worse, doesn't it? But at least, at least it's a nice enough day just to sit on the beach. Oh, James is going to rear his in now and change bait, put some fresh bait on there. I think it's going to be one of my uh, one of my shortest fishing videos. I think <laughs> I've got to put it on there because it's part of the thing, and it? it'll be uh, well Dorset Part Two, and then obviously tomorrow will be Dorset Part Three. So I've still got to put it on there. I say you can't always show the videos where you're catching. You've got to show the videos sometimes where you don't. That's why it's called fishing, isn't it? And not catching. It's not always guaranteed, is it? Not always guaranteed. It's just coming up. About quarter to two, something like that. Till quarter to two, ten to two. We're going to call it a day. We've decided. It's absolutely nothing. Dire. Absolutely dire. The, the tips of the rod aren't, aren't even moving. No breeze. There's no wind. It's so still. Like it's absolutely nothing is happening. So we come up with a bit of a plan. We're like, right, let's pack the rods down. We get back to the car, uh, and then yeah, where we're staying at West Bay, we might go over the beach over there for a couple of hours this afternoon. Have a little dip in the sea. Do you know what I mean? Just make the most of our holiday, isn't it? We're on holiday, aren't we? making the most of it and then the plan is tomorrow I think we're going to wake up go and get a bit of breakfast have a little walk around Weymouth and then we're going to hit the stone pier in the afternoon get the old float fishing out hopefully get some garfish out mackerel wrasse hopefully <sighs> man what a terrible week we've had fishing Dorset it's not been good 
but I enjoyed it though, it's still been good, yeah, we're still on the beach, still fishing, it's been good, I've enjoyed it, it is good. So uh, yeah, this is a very short video, this one, for part two of Chesil Beach. So if you've sat through and watched it and then get too bored, nice one, well done. And uh, <laughs> I will see you again on part three, Weymouth Stone Pier, and hopefully, hopefully we'll be putting some fish out for you. Alright guys, we'll see you on the next video.